give me a minute and let's talk about another oil refinery being hit, or rather an oil refinery being hit again. And this is a refinery in the Kaluga region of Russia. It had been previously hit. Um, it was repaired. It was back in service. And now it has been hit again. Remember, the goal of these strikes against refineries is to deny gasoline and fuel oil to the Russian army so that they cannot prosecute this war. It's a beautiful law of supply and demand. Tanks don't run without gasoline or diesel or whatever it is they take. Uh, jet fuel in the case of the Abrams, right? And it is important to remember that this does not affect the price of gas in the United States. Russia is not currently, ex except maybe to lower it. Because since this campaign has begun, the price of Russian crude oil, Ural's crude, has dropped by 18% in the last six weeks from $85 a barrel, well above the price cap of sanctions, down to $70 a barrel, much closer to the price cap. Why? Because Russia doesn't have the refining capacity. They're taking uh, like 9 million barrels of oil out of the ground every day, and every day they have to refine about 5 million of those barrels. Well, if they lose a million barrels in refining capacity, they have nowhere to put it. So what do they do? They put it on the open market. Russia is currently flooding the market with the oil it can't refine, driving the price down in a world where the price of oil has been artificially inflated by the production cuts that OPEC Plus put in place in an effort to hold us all hostage during this time. And it's a win-win, guys. It's a win-win. The Russian army loses the fuel for its vehicles and can't prosecute its genocidal war. And the rest of the world gets a little bit of break on the price of oil. Well done, Ukraine. Well done. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Willow, who is the sponsor of this video. Willow joined the Patreon at the Dobrovicher level. And so every month I thank her personally and uh, give her a uh, video sponsorship. So thank you, Willow, for everything.